What is Congress doing about the border with Canada and Mexico? Oh, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So the president rolled out his plan to address encounters at the border. And the plan consisted of you could go on an app and get a number to go through a legal point of entry if you were Venezuelan, Cuban, Nicaraguan, and I forget the fourth country. Haitian. Yes, Haitian. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Because all the president has done is move the issues from the illegal point of entries to the legal point of entries. I have seen with my own two eyes immigrants, migrants coming up, coming up to the southern border in a pack of 25, and they're not running. They're walking right up to a border agent, and they're giving themselves up. And the border agent is tasked with the responsibility of pulling out a sheet of pulling out a stack of paper, getting everybody's names down, and beginning the process of asylum. The asylum process in the United States right now takes nine to 11 years. Most people, when they come to the southern border, or now do the legal points of entry to, uh, to apply for asylum, the first court case sometimes happens somewhere between six months to a year and a half, somewhere in there. The immigrant goes to that hearing because that's the hearing that you get documents to be in the United States. They don't go to the second hearing. Or let me rephrase this, about 3% go to the second hearing. And that happens years down the line. This is not working. Forget Florida for a moment. When New York, Chicago, are complaining about bus loads and plane loads showing up because their social services are overwhelmed? How do you think the rest of the country feels? I'm not gonna, gonna soapbox this one because we got a lot of questions. Last piece of this. The drug cartels have operational control of immigration at the southern border. And what is done, what is done to the northern border is there are large sections that are completely unmanned because our border agents at the southern border are so overwhelmed, they have re-tasked um, northern border agents to the southern border to help with the document flow. So there are elements of the northern border that are completely wide open. At the southern border, the drug cartels are moving people in a shell game. It, for the people who love football, but it's, it's like this. The drug cartel is running a spread offense. And they are spreading our agents out, and they're engaging the agents. And when the agents stop to process people, then they have runners, these will be called the gotaways, who are running through the holes that have been created with 20 pounds of fentanyl on their back. The cartels are gonna make anywhere from nine to 12 billion dollars this year on trafficking people into the United States. People. And that's not their primary business. And then the last piece, for people who want to say what it is inhumane for people to have to live in some of these other countries. Well, let me tell you what's inhumane. The fact that there are young girls who are raped by the coyotes and the drug cartels and other people in the journey to the southern border of the United States. That is inhumane. The president, the vice president, Alejandro Mayorkas, or nobody else on the other side of the aisle in Congress can refute anything that I just told you. What I told you are the facts. And that is because I have been to the border four times in two years. I've seen it with my own two eyes. That's so, to the answer to the question, nothing. Now, I got a solution. We have a couple things called spending bills and such that go through Congress, and now Republicans are in charge of the House. Because the law has not 
changed since 1986. If the president refuses to do his job, Congress must make him do his job using the power of the purse that the House of Representatives has. And if the president of the United States refuses to yield to following the law and he shuts the government down, that will be at the hands of the president of the United States. to secure the home. 